In this problem, we're being asked to find the surface area of this rectangular prism here. And we're being given a net. A net for a rectangular prism, uh, you can think of it as if this box, this prism was made out of paper and then it was unfolded and laid flat on a table. That's what a net is. It allows you to see uh, all the sides at the same time. And this problem guides us through uh, figuring out the surface area. First, it wants us to determine all of the side lengths on this net. Um, so you can read the lengths here off of the, the picture of the prism. It's got the longest side of 9 and a medium-sized side of 6 and a short side of 3. And now we just need to translate these onto the net. Well, the longest side here is this one with D. And then all of these lengths of the same are are the same as D, so those are all nines. And then, <clears throat> let's see here. So D is nine, and that means B is nine as well. The next biggest side, the medium sized side, is six, so that's uh, this A side. So these sides are six, and this side as well. And then the shortest side, C, so A was six, the C is three. So all of these short sides are three, including these sides here and here. And you might ask, how do I know that side is three? It's going to fold when this prism is put together to touch. So these sides are going to line up with each other. So they must both be three. So C is three. Now, you may notice in this net what happens with a rectangular prism. And this is true of all rectangular prisms. When you unfold it, you can see that there are three sets of doubles. So this side and this side are the same. They're both six by nine. And let me grab a different color here. And then this side and this side, they're both three by nine. And then one more color, this side and this side are both three by six. So you have all the combinations, the possible combinations of these dimensions uh, for each of the sides, and they come in pairs. So when we figure out the surface area of a rectangular prism, you're going to have three pairs of sides. So there's the 6 by 9 sides. So to figure out the area of one of those sides, it's 6 by 9. And then we'll multiply that by 2, so we get both of them. And then we'll add that to the next side, the 3 by 6. There are two of those as well. So we'll write it like this, 2 times uh, two times 3 times 6. And then we'll add that to the, the uh, 3 by 9 sides. And there's two of those. And then this is really just a problem of some multiplication and addition. So 6 times 9 is 54, times 2 is 108. Uh, 3 times 6 is 18, and times 2 is 36. And 3 times 9 is 27, times 2 is 54. So we'll add 54 and 36 and 108, and we get 198. The dimensions here were feet, and this is area, so it's feet squared. So that is how to calculate the surface area of a rectangular prism.